Hey, Dave Beatty from the Nimitz Encounters here. Yesterday, the FAA sent me recordings from a UAP encounter off the coast of Southern California. This happened August 18th, 2022. TV personality Ben Hansen had previously reported on this case, and he also had played some of these air traffic control recordings. He was in contact with the pilot at the time who provided those recordings. At that time, I had requested a Freedom of Information Act with the FAA to send me the air traffic control recordings from that evening. It was around midnight on August 18th when a Gulfstream private jet off the coast of California began witnessing some very strange lights in the sky. He submitted a report to the Mutual UFO Network, and this is what he said. I'm a 52-year-old retired F-18 pilot and a tactical jet instructor for the U.S. Navy and Marines. My current position is a chief pilot for a corporate flight department out of Palomar, California. I hold an airline transport rating in single-engine, multi-engine, and helicopters. He goes on to say he had quite a bit of education as a pilot, accident, crash investigator, um, all kinds of ratings, and so on. And then he says that on August 18th, at approximately 3.20 a.m., while in our Gulfstream 650, en route from Miami to Maui, at flight level 470 off the coast of California, I witnessed two UAPs high above our aircraft in a circular formation. Me being a retired F-18 pilot who has conducted many air intercepts throughout my career, I immediately reported it to LA Center. LA Center informed us that no known or unknown primary or secondary radar contacts in or around us was in their airspace. I then turned our air traffic collision avoidance system to above mode, and I received no active aircraft activity as well. As I continued reporting with LA Center, then another two UAPs formed up in the formation. And then I saw what I believe was a shooting star, but it stopped descending and joined the other four UAPs in a circular orbit. I took my iPhone out and attempted to record the UAPs as they moved over our aircraft. I lost sight of them and continued to discuss the encounter with ATC. Another aircraft also reported the incident, and LA Center reported it to the FAA Presidential Aerial Security Administration in Washington, D.C., I was informed that other aircraft had reported seeing the UAPs over the phone, but declined to acknowledge it over the radio. So that's what this pilot saw in the air over Southern California that you'll hear in these recordings. Uh, the discrepancy that I saw was that he said that it was 3.20 in the morning, when in fact the recordings um, begin at approximately 15 minutes after midnight um, on the morning of the 18th. Um, the other thing is that the FAA said that they found no documentation of a, a report or a record that was created related to this incident. Um, I had requested any kind of reports, and they also said there was no record found regarding the FAA Presidential Area Security Office. So that came up negative, but they did send me an hour of air traffic control recordings. A subsequent Ben Hansen report also mentioned that some of the other air, airplanes had called in on their cell phones and indeed some of those pilots did um, witness some lights in the sky they couldn't you know, necessarily identify. So here's the recording for you. Good evening, uh, Twilight 676, Twilight 670, LA Center, Roger. Advising you to establish two-way HF communication. There are two Gulf of Cell contacts, so Cal Approach 124.9. Twenty four nine. Go. Uh, flight, uh, flight level three four zero and passing uh, six thousand two hundred now. Fifty eight eleven heavy. Roger. Twilight six seventy is down to Twilight six seventy. Roger. Expect a frequency change near Dinty. Roger. Twilight six seventy. Go ahead. We've got uh, a few aircraft to our uh, uh, north here. Maybe going around in circles. Much higher altitude than us. Any idea with that? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, strange. We'll probably be down to 41. Delta 41, stand by. And Twilight 670, say the last part again. Yeah, they're supposed to be, you know, much higher than we are. They're going around in circles, so maybe three aircraft or uh, two aircraft. Uh, yeah, 
Roger. Um, yeah, I don't know. You're not entering any military or space or anything. I'm not sure. Roger. Delta 41, go. Uh, Delta 41, uh, yeah, we are just wondering if uh, we needed a frequency change. I was just waiting for you to level at level 340. Are you level now? Uh, Delta 41, we are just leveling now at 340. Delta 41, Roger. Radar service terminated. Change to under frequency. Uh, Los Angeles, Center operation, Bobby. Hello, it's Sarah. Hey. Um, so I have this Twilight 670 that's like 25 west of LA at 47,000 feet. And he said that there are three aircraft high above him orbiting. And I don't know. Well, that's kind of weird. I need to do something <laughs> else. Hey, hey. Stand by. Air France is on my frequency. What, do you guys use 1905 or 2605? Yeah, 1905. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. Um, should I ask him anything else? Like, you said they were aircraft. I don't have any hot air space. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> I told him I, did, I didn't know he wasn't in any military air space, and he said, yeah, they're just kind of going around in circles. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> okay. And he's at 47,000 feet, and he said they're pretty far above him. So yeah. I, I wonder if it's just, like, yeah, I don't know. The first uh, thing I thought was a satellite or something. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. like so. SpaceX stuff. But All right. Maybe I would just report it to you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. It's it. We don't see any aircraft off our right hand side that are uh, three aircraft going in circle. No, I, there's nothing out there um, by you. I don't even see any primary targets. And you said that they're above you? Yeah, they're definitely above us. Uh, they're just going around in circles. They're I like 670, uh, Roger. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I did know what it was. Los Angeles, Center Operation, Tommy. Hey, it's me again. Uh, that Twilight's still asking me about if I see anything. I, I didn't know what to tell him, but I thought I would tell you again. He's probably 75 miles past where he was, he said. Are you sure you don't see anything off to our right above us? <laughs> I, there's nothing there. Yeah, no, that's so, weird. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can tell them is that you don't have anything. You I, know what I mean? told him I was sorry. I wish I knew. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't have anything else for you either. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. Roger, I, I did report it. Um, do you have an estimate on the altitude? You know, they've got to be. From the angle I'm at, they've got to be at least. At least five or 10,000 feet above us. They have to be. Join them from even greater than that. Twilight 670, Roger. And uh, are they just white lights? They just keep going in circles. I was an F-18 pilot in the Marine Corps. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I've done many intercepts, but I've never seen anything like this. Twilight well, 670, Roger. Yeah, well, I was talking to the operational manager, and the only thing we could think of is satellites, but that, I'm sure those don't, those aren't going to be spinning around. Absolutely, they're not satellites. They're in a big orbital, just keep going around after, around each other, and then uh, two more came in, and then one came down. So they just keep circling. Twilight well, 670, Roger. Yeah, uh, like I said, I, I did report it. Um, I I wish I could offer you the answer now, um, but unfortunately can't. And uh, radar service is terminated, and frequency change is approved now. Roger, one over 2,000. Affirmative, thanks. All right, ma'am. Have a great night. Take care. Thanks, you as well. Korean Air 9210, LA Center, Summit 18, flight level 360. <laughs> Los Angeles in operation, Tommy. It's Sarah. The plot thickens. Uh oh. Um, so he said that now there was like seven, and they're still circling. He said that there was about five, and then two more came in, and one came from above them, 
And I asked him if he had an altitude estimate, and he said at least five to 10,000 feet above. And so he's at 47. He's at 47. And then he told me that he was an F-18 pilot in the Marine Corps, and he's never seen anything like this. Huh. He said he's been on hundreds of intercepts. <laughs> and I was like, I told him that I had talked to the operational manager, and we thought maybe they were satellites, but obviously they weren't. And he's like, no, they're they're aircraft. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll uh, I'll call the dad and see if they want me to I, do anything. But yeah, because that's like he. Um, let me measure it real quick. Because he's probably two hundred miles, I would guess. Yeah. From where but he the, first. But the fact that he's still seeing him, you know what I mean? That's like. Two hundred and fifty uh, miles from where he first saw him. And, yeah. like, it's such a weird thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll call, I'll call it then. Okay. If they, All right. If they want to do anything yeah, for it. Yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah. LA, United 2650, request direct United 2650, clear direct Dinty, and uh, I have a question when you're ready. Oh, I am ready, United 2650. Okay, um, so an aircraft ahead of you at 47,000 feet was reporting um, aircraft above them circling. Uh, they're about 75 miles ahead of you now. Um, I'm not showing anything. I was just wondering if you see anything up there. Uh, they reported it would probably have to be above 50,000 feet. Uh, looking out, I only see stars, but at that distance, it would be hard to see anything. Yeah, he had reported them from about 15 miles west of L.A. all the way to his current position is about 20 miles past NT. Yeah. We'll keep our eye out and we'll let you know. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on uh, the company. We're still monitoring you. Hello, I'm the other aircraft in the boat. You can look at the bottom corner of the uh, big dipper where they're serving. Pilot 670, Roger. United 2650, did you copy that? Uh, United 2650 about the traffic and looking for it, but nothing else. Roger, thanks. Twilight 670, yes, of course. United 2650, did you ever end up seeing anything? United 2650, go ahead. I uh, just wondered if you en en ever ended up seeing anything. Yeah, it's a negative. United 2650, Roger. Radar service terminated, change to inert frequency. Twilight 670, copy radar, sir. Terminated, switch your frequency. Twilight 670, and I said negative. All right, I got it all radio. Roger, thanks. 